your, your thoughts on DJ Smith when I know you didn't play a lot when you got here uh, for him, but um, what did you think when you got here? Yeah. Compared to uh, the other systems you may have played. Yeah, that, see, I don't, I, I just don't want to, I, I try to now, I try to be more, you know, um, intentional with what I say. And I try to, yep. you know, think about what I'm saying. And like that whole situation was weird for me. Like I told you about Pierre, like one day I want to know if this guy just traded me back to, you know, to screw me. But so I got there and I had the 16, 16 day quarantine and then everything was spiraling. I told you I scored seven goals in seven games or whatever. And DJ was always good to me. Like, like he was, he was always goofing around with me. He'd always grab a coffee in the back and I was at like the end stall and he'd walk in and he'd be like, hey, Zinger, best nine minutes of your life tonight. And like, it was kind of <laughs> funny, but I wasn't that boys with him at the same time. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> like he was trying to be good to me and nice and funny. But at the same time, I'm like, dude, I'm at the midpoint of my career here. And like, I have seven goals and seven games and I'm not getting to play. Like you're kind of pissing me off, but kind of being funny at the same time. So no, he was always a good guy. And and you can tell, I like guys that played, right? Like you just, you, you got to, he didn't get all the way up to the, you know, he didn't have the greatest career, but man, the guy was a killer. And like, so I respected him. Um, but I was just shocked how long he, like, I saw like the stat about him and the, you know, other coaches that had the longest tenure or whatever with the team. And it's yep. crazy. What did he have? Six years or five? Five, five? years. Yep. So there was like, like seven guys and all the other ones had been playoffs or cup winners, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So like, like, it's just crazy. I mean, I, I think, I was talking about coming back and coaching one day and I'm like, man, all you got to do is get into a team where they're absolutely tanking.